exploring expressions have a fondness for hello everyone welcome to our english language learning journey today we're going to dive into a fascinating phrase that you might come across in books movies or everyday conversations have a fondness for Understanding this phrase will not only enrich your vocabulary but also enhance your ability to express preferences and affections in English. Let's explore this together. Have a fondness for is an expression used to describe a feeling of liking, affection, or preference towards someone or something. When you say you have a fondness for something, it means there is a special place in your heart for it. It's a gentle, warm way to express your liking, somewhat more subtle than love, but definitely stronger than just like. For example, if someone says, "I have a fondness for old books," it means they not only like old books but also feel a special emotional connection to them. To understand how to use "have a fondness for" in everyday language, let's look at some examples. She has a fondness for classical music, always filling her room with the sounds of Mozart and Beethoven. Despite living in the city, he has a fondness for nature, often spending weekends hiking in the mountains. They have a fondness for traveling, exploring new cultures, and tasting exotic foods from around the world. These examples show that the phrase can be used to talk about interests, hobbies, and even people we hold dear. Knowing synonyms and variations can help you diversify your speech or writing. Some synonyms for have a fondness for include cherish, adore, have a liking for, have a preference for, be partial to. Each of these can be used depending on the context and the intensity of the feeling you wish to convey. Now, let's practice using have a fondness for. Try to create your own sentences or even a short paragraph describing something you have a fondness for. Remember, expressing your emotions and preferences accurately can make your English more vivid and personal. Thank you for joining me in exploring the phrase "have a fondness for." I hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage, making you more confident in expressing your likes and affections in English. Remember, language learning is a journey of discovery, so keep exploring and practicing. See you in our next video.